the latest on flooding in East Texas. Yeah, while the rain is out of here, the problem now is river flooding, especially when we talk about southeastern Panola County, where the Sabine River is already very high. According to the very latest information from the Weather Service, the river at Logansport is already in the moderate stage of flooding and is still rising, expected to crest Monday morning at 35.7 feet. Water is a, uh, a dangerous, dangerous thing. You can't control it. And in southeast Panola County, that water keeps rising along the Sabine River. After a conversation with the National Weather Service, County Judge Roger McLean is again warning those living in low-lying areas to leave now. Uh, I was hoping they were going to say, Judge, it's going down, nothing's going to happen, it's all good. But uh, unfortunately, it's still expected to crest Monday at Logansport at 35 uh, point seven, nearly uh, nearly 36 feet. Ahead of the worst of the flooding, the state has already staged a Texas Military Department ground platoon and two Swiftwater boat squads in Joaquin in Shelby County. And while crews will jump into action when lives are at risk, McLean says that can be avoided if people leave now while they can. This is not, uh, not a joke. It's very serious. Uh, property will be lost. We don't want any lives lost. Uh, Property can be replaced. Uh, I know it's you know no one wants to leave their home, their comfort, their their comfort zone. I get it, I understand, but this is a potentially historic flood uh, that's going to remind us all of the 2016 flood, and it's expected to actually surpass that. TxDOT is also prepared to close FM 2517 if necessary, as the river continues to rise. I drove home yesterday on 2517. And I've lived out that way my entire life, except for when I was at school. And I've it's just right there, the, the road's edge. And according to the Sabine River Authority, five spillway gates are now open at one foot each downriver at the Toledo Bend Reservoir.